Mr. Jill is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I think that your side has made some thoughtful, insightful, cogent arguments. But here's my problem. Let me ask you in reverse situation. If I, with my record here in Congress, my record as mayor, my record as a private citizen, were to propose a bill tomorrow that said everyone in America should be allowed to have a gun anytime they want it. Sounds good to some of you. But wouldn't you be a little suspicious if it was me offering that bill? I think you should be because there's probably a catch somewhere along the line since I have always voted for thoughtful and reasonable and aggressive gun regulations. And I'm proud of those votes. Today I hear thoughtful, cogent arguments that in general and philosophical nature I can accept. But it's coming from the very people that from day one have been trying to kill the CFPB. From day one. And yeah, it rings a few bells in my head. It's kind of like earlier, now several times, I hear the other side is the defender of minority concerns at the CFPB because of the allegations. Those allegations are serious. But it's from the very people that have from day one tried to kill the CRA, tried to kill all fair housing amendments, tried to kill health care discrimination laws that we have, and now all of a sudden, you're the defenders of minorities? And we're the problem? I happen to agree with you. The building they built, that Taj Mahal, I couldn't agree more. They wasted money. They should have been held to account. And the time will come when I will probably agree with you that I'd like to put it on budget. But not yet. Not yet? Because you're right, I am trying to defend the consumers. And I do believe that you would gut it in a minute. <clears throat> but let's be honest. As was said earlier, these are the exact same two names I had. It doesn't matter how much money is appropriated there. When President Trump gets his pick, he's going to appoint Genghis Khan, actually Randy Nugabauer might actually look good, to the CFPB. As he has appointed Scott Pruitt to the EPA and Ms. DeVos to the Education Department. So I, I expect that to come, and it will. But I'm not going to help you kill an agency that I think has some valuable aspects. Yes, they've had some problems, and I would love to work with you to straighten them out. And the day will come, I hope, that I will want it on budget. But for those of you who are so concerned about the Constitution, we took an oath for the Constitution. Why have none of you raised your voice when President Trump took in unilateral action to fire missiles into a sovereign country. Not at ISIS, not at Al-Qaeda, but at the government of a sovereign country that I don't like and you don't like. The Constitution is pretty clear. Only, only Congress can declare war. Shooting missiles into a sovereign country is an act of war, and only one member of the Republican Party is signed onto a bill to call to account. So don't lecture me about the Constitution. If you're not willing to stand here and do your job relative to declaring war, that doesn't make you superior to any of us. You're so concerned about privacy. Oh, the CFPB, they're, oh, they're ruining privacy. Then why'd you vote to let every corporation in America take every bit of information off the internet about every single American? Didn't seem to bother you then. Oh, that's different. That's Google. That's ATT. We the trust yield? them, but we don't trust the CFPB. The gentleman yield? Sure. I'm, I'm under Mr. Hill's name, but uh, listen, and, and we're friends, and we have different political views, but I didn't hear anyone on the other side of the aisle complain when President Obama was dropping bombs. Oh, well, here, yeah, yeah, and, with um, all I, due respect, I, didn't I was hear one of committee. four members. I'll didn't reclaim my time. I was one of four members who sued him. So maybe nobody else no. did. I sued him, and I lost in court because we have courts that are full of activist judges. <laughs> Had they been regular judges, we would have won. So I happen to agree with you. I don't have a problem. No president should be able to bring this country to war unilaterally. And by the way, you could have joined us in that suit, and there may be a suit coming up if he shoots more missiles. So it's awfully hard for me to sit here and listen to the very people who have continuously and repeatedly, on a regular basis, attacked, 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 
and now all of a sudden they want to do the philosophically perfect, wonderful thing. I hope the day will come when we can agree, and I think it will, but it's not today.